There are high hopes that 5G standalone core systems will enable a vast range of new service opportunities for mobile network operators. I'm talking with Emmanuel Bidet, he is VP of Convergent Networks Control at Orange, about the importance of 5G core platforms. So uh, Emmanuel, 5G specifications enable the use of open, multi-vendor, cloud-native software stacks in the core. Uh, how is Orange bringing this kind of architecture into its network? Well, uh, multi-vendor 5G is very important to Orange and is one of the stated objectives that we have since the beginning. Uh, we have started a trial back in 2019. And in this trial, we have brought together uh, different vendors, HPE, Gaza, OpenNet. And it was important for us to be able to set up a full end-to-end -end chain with different vendors. On, on 2020, we, we achieved our first uh, call on the multi-vendor 5G SA chain. This was uh, uh, the project that we named uh, Harmony. Now we want to go further and we have a second initiative, the NEO project that we have launched a few weeks ago. And we want to test with uh, at least uh, probably two, two affiliates of Orange in Europe, the concept of a 100% software operator, data on AI driven and fully automated. This uh, initiative has been launched in France and will be, as I said, uh, probably replicated uh, into uh, all three countries in Europe. Okay, and, and what is uh, Orange trying to achieve in the core? Uh, and how is this a, a major change from what you had before? Well, first, 5G SA is a whole chain with uh, many new challenges. We will have a new core, we will have a new SIG, we will have uh, new concepts like, uh, like slicing. So moving from, four, 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 from 5G NSA to 5G SA will be a challenge in itself. But we want to go further uh, by, uh, on, we want to take this sort of opportunity to change our approach, uh, to introduce more automation in our processes, and uh, this will be, for me, maybe the most uh, important challenge that we have to, to take. Okay. And in what specific ways has HP been able to help you achieve your goals? What, what are you trying to do with your 5G core platform and, and how has HPE helped here? So in, in Harmony, HPE brings a set of cloud native standards, compliant network functions and uh, it brings also the automation of slice management. Uh, in NEO, uh, in NEO project, which is our, our next project, uh, HP could help us to, to leverage and replicate in country or end-to-end -end setup by managing locally the end-to-end -end integration. And uh, with your work with HP, would you say that uh, it's been um, meeting your expectations? Well, what I, what I can say is that the first results are really encouraging and we saw and uh, we appreciate uh, the, the strong involvement from uh, HPE teams. Of course, our, our next step, as I said before, is the NEO project and I hope that we will have uh, the same success together. And so what, what comes next? Um, what is next for the collaboration between Orange and, and HPE? And how can HPE help you with your future plans? Well, clearly, uh, automation is the hot topic that we have today. Uh, we believe that HPE has strong assets in that domain, so it could be easily the, the topic that we can work together. But we have to keep in mind that, uh, of course, in that domain, we need to have an efficient solution, but we need also, and that is absolutely important for us, to have an open solution in that sense that we need to have a solution that uh, allows to have different partners that allows to have different vendors uh, on the on, on the solution that keep us far from uh, any vendor locking. Okay, absolutely, and and that's very important to all operators, of course, uh, as they advance their five G strategies. Well, great to hear about what Orange is doing in its five G standalone core. Emmanuel, thanks very much for talking with us today. Thank you very much.